If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. While we were at Tuskegee National Forest, we uh, went into the town of Tuskegee to uh, get some supplies, different things. On our way back to the campsite, we saw a sign that said Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site. So I quickly Googled directions and uh, got to this uh, museum. So I'm going to take you through a bunch of photos that we took, hopefully try to explain the significance of the African American Pilot Training Center uh, in Tuskegee Airmen National Center. So I'm going to do my best, but I do encourage everybody to go check this out if you're in Alabama uh, near Tuskegee. It's worth the visit. It's, uh, you know, they got a little movie that you can watch. It tells the history of the, the facility. Old artifacts uh, still sitting in, the, in their offices. Uh, the desk and the paperwork. It's, uh, it's really neat. I encourage you to go. So I'm going to take you through some of these photos, do my best to narrate, and hope you enjoy. They came to Tuskegee. Young African-American men came to Tuskegee from all over the nation to train as military pilots. They began with primary flight training here at Tuskegee Institute's Motion Field. Tuskegee Institute also had a smaller field, Kennedy Field, where some cadets received orientation flights in the Piper J-3 Cub during pre-flight training. Cadets who successfully completed primary at Motion Field transferred to Tuskegee Army Airfield, seven miles from this base, for basic and advanced flight training conducted by the Army Air Force only motion field remains. This building is where the barracks were for the airmen. And here we had a fire suppression pond. And this is a photo of that pond. Of course it doesn't have any water in it, but this is where they fought the fires. It was called dope. This is the material they used to uh, put on, to patch the plane up. It was very flammable and caustic, so they had to put it over in this building here. Um, half locker, this is where they did the maintenance. Uh, all the supplies were held for maintenance in this building. Oil storage shed it will be in the photo that you're getting ready to see. And this is uh, Hangar 1. This is the primary museum. It holds some uh, old planes. We got two different planes here. One's blue and this one's yellow. This is in Hangar 2. This was a red tail. The men painted the tails of their airplane red to signify that they were part of this African-American unit. And they were very proud of this symbol. And in the movie we learned that when they would have to escort uh, bombers, the bomber group would know that this was an elite group of uh, fighter pilots and that they were well protected. This was interesting. They, they created this sign, Democracy at Home and Abroad, because they knew the racism was uh, real prevalent. So they wanted, they wanted to show the American people that they could do just as well as the other pilots. So they created this sign, it's a Democracy Home and Abroad. And this sign shows how many missions were flown, how many pilots were shot down. Uh, so there was 1,578 total missions. 72 pilots shot down, 112 enemy aircraft, 66 pilots killed in action, and 13 pilots reported missing in action. This was an old footlocker, had all their shaving and clothes and their boots. This was the artifacts I was telling you about. One of the artifacts was the uh, desk, and there's all kinds of artifacts in different uh, offices. This is the only picture that we took. This is the uh, fighter pilot jackets. And finally we have uh, Hangar 2. This is where the movie was being held. Um, it was a really good movie. Well, I'm going to show you some video uh, that we took there.
and then uh, we'll conclude our tour of the Tuskegee National Airmen Center. Happy adventures! Thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe. Quick like if you like the video. So we are inside the Tuskegee National Airmen Hangar One. And it looks like it's a little museum. A lot of history here. All part of World War II. So this is the control tower of the uh, Tuskegee Tuskegee National Airman Base.